guys, I'm Rebecca and these are my reviews. So I have my Birch Box and my Ipsy for the month of October. So I am not adding play this time because my play still isn't here. So I'll just do that one separately because I wanted to go ahead and get these up. I was very excited about them. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with Birch Box. Birch Box has new packaging. Look at this. Anyway, on to the actual stuff. So the first thing in here is Hustle Butter. This is basically a bomb. It was originally made for tattoos because after you get a tattoo while it's healing, you need to keep something on it to keep it because it gets kind of like flaky and crusty and you know, this just helps soothe it and helps it heal without getting gunk in it, that kind of thing. But it also works well as just, you know, a multitasking balm. You can use it on your dry skin or they say that you can use it as a makeup remover, but it does not work well as a makeup remover like at all. Don't try that. But it works great as a moisturizer. Personally, I am not going to put this on my face because it's too goopy, but I've been using it on my hands a lot. My hands have been really, really dry. I have been building a deck in my backyard. Very handy. And just digging in all of that dirt all the time, even though I'm wearing gloves, my skin is so dry, especially my hands are just toe up from all of that dirt and digging and stuff. And this has been really helping. It is really kind of, you know, sticky and greasy feeling. It's a balm. It feels like chapstick, but it works well and it does soak in really nicely. I think that um, this would be great for tattoos. So the next time I get a tattoo, you know, if I ever get another tattoo, uh, I would totally use this on it. Okay, the next thing in here is a shampoo and conditioner duo. These are from Madison Reed. These are supposed to be really great for colored hair. I do have blue in my hair, but I don't have any other dye in my hair. Personally, for me, I find these to be a little too gentle. Like, I feel like my hair is not completely clean. I have to wash it a couple of times. Uh, the conditioner is nice, but it is nothing super awesome. They smell really good, a little more on the musky side. I think I just have like a really oily scalp or something because I've run into that problem with other shampoos that were meant for color treated hair, but you know, Eh, these are fine. I'll use up the rest of these cute little samples. This is a teeny tiny little lipstick from Make. The color of this, I'm not so sure about. It kind of just looks really bright pink on me. I put it on today. I was like, I'm gonna wear it for the video. No, no, I'm not. No, that's just not, I'm just not feeling it. Um, but see, it is a pretty color. It has really great hydration. That is my favorite thing about this lipstick is it just feels really nice on your lips. It's got good pigment without being crazy. It you know, lasts a little while. I feel like it, like, like it almost stains my lips, like the pink never really goes away. I don't know if that would be true for all of their colors, but this pink seems to stay pink like all day long. I absolutely like it. I think that it is a nice hydrating lipstick. This is a resurfacing mask from Tata Harper. This, I believe, was my sample choice and I was really excited to try this. I've heard all kinds of good things about it. So it's basically like a goopy gel and I put it on with a flat foundation brush. That's how I like to do my my goopy masks. I just think that it works better than my fingers. This smells fairly perfumey. It doesn't smell bad, but it just smells really perfumey. It wasn't bad as far as like, I, I was afraid that it was going to be stingy and it was a little bit. You could feel a little bit of a tingle, but it wasn't bad at all and it went away pretty quickly. When it dries, it almost feels like you're supposed to peel it off. Whoa high hair. Like it was completely dry and I smiled or something and it cracked all around my mouth and you could just like peel the chunks off. It was a little weird. I went back and I was like, wait a minute, am I supposed to peel this? Is this a peel mask? It's not. You do rinse it and as soon as you put water on it, it starts dissolving and you know, it rinses off clean and my face looked beautiful and bright. It didn't look irritated at all. I thought my skin looked really nice after using it. So this was great and I could probably get another maybe two uses if I'm stingy with it. Oh, and then they threw in this sort of extra thing. This is a root touch-up, also from Madison Reed, the same company as the shampoo and conditioner. Like I said, I don't dye my hair other than the blue, so I don't really have lighter roots. My roots are darker, so it doesn't, you know, eh, eh. if they had a blue color, I would totally use that but I did use it in my eyebrows. And in my eyebrows, it works great. I basically just used, you know, like an angled eyebrow brush and, um, and put it in my eyebrows. I have it in my eyebrows today. I think to today I am using the medium brown. See, I used the little finger dumaflachi to try to put it in my hair, but you couldn't even see it. I was like, whatever, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but for my eyebrows, it works great. It doesn't smear, it doesn't budge, it lasts all day. I put it in, one day I used it just on its own, but then like today I put my honest 
Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel over it just to lock the hairs in place. And I think it works great. I think it's awesome. So I would totally use this for my eyebrows at least. It probably works well on your roots too. So if you do have issues with roots because you dye your hair darker, you have gray hair growing in or whatever, um, this, you know, this could be cool. <laughs> it seems to work. Okay, so that is my birch box. Moving on to Ipsy. The bag this month is so freaking cute. Look at that. And even the little zipper is, a wait, wait, can you see this? Can you see it now? It's a little ghost. How cute is that? I just love it. I think it's so cute and perfect for Halloween. And as you may have noticed, I kind of like Halloween. Okay, so the first thing in here is this nail polish that I'm, okay, not this one, but this nail polish, which I love. I think it is so pretty. I thought that it applied really nicely. I definitely needed two coats to get full opacity, but that was it, just two. It looks really nice. I am loving it. I've been wearing it for several days. Oh my gosh, I don't see like any chipping. Nice. So loving this. Oh, did I even tell you this is from Adesi? Organic infused nail lacquer. The next thing in here is from Ciate. Is that how you say that? Ciate? And it is a felt tip liquid liner. I do have it on my eyes today. It is so wonderfully inky black. And I do like felt tip liners. I think that they work well. The problem with these is they usually don't last very long because you really need that very tippy tip to be in good shape. And after a while, you know, it just kind of breaks down. It doesn't have as much ink. This one, the first time I put it on, I put it like all over. I kind of went crazy. <laughs> if you watch my Snapchat, you saw me. It was like, woo! A little crazy artwork on my face. Uh, it smeared all to hell and I was like, oh man, that sucks. I was really looking forward to having this awesome liner because it goes on so nicely. It is so super pigmented and it just glides on so smoothly. But that was the only time that it smeared on me and I'm wondering if it's because I wasn't wearing any other makeup so it didn't really have anything to stick to other than, you know, my skin. Uh, that was probably all like greasy from working in the yard all day. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, since then I have had no issues with it smearing or anything. So I think it just kind of depends. Like if you have oily skin, you might need to be careful with this. Other than that, I don't know. So I'm going to continue using it and I will let you guys know if I have any more issues with it. So far, so good. It was just that one day for some reason. Okay, the next thing in here is from Hot this is from Hot Mama. It is Hot Mama. It is from the Balm Cosmetics. This is such a pretty blush. It is a beautiful shimmery peachy tone. I actually already have this, so this is going in my giveaway pile. I am wearing what I believe is a dupe for it, Romance from Makeup Geek. I have that on today, and I just think that it's a beautiful, beautiful shimmery peachy blush. It's wonderful. I love the balm. So anyway, that's going in my giveaway pile. This is from Tracestique. I have gotten several things from Tracestique and I believe that I usually really like them. This is a lip crayon and it looks like it's going to be really red, but it actually comes out quite berry colored. It's this one right here. Uh, it's very pretty. It's very thin. My issue with it is that if you suffer from dry lips like I do, you have to really exfoliate your lips before you put this on, otherwise it accentuates every little bit of dry skin and yuckiness. It's very lightweight and while it is mildly hydrating, at least not drying, it doesn't give you a lot of hydration, it feels really nice on your lips, but like I said, if you have any dryness, this will accentuate it big time. This also, I feel like, lasts forever. I do like it, I just feel like I personally have a hard time wearing it. This, I really love, because I do have dry lips, as I just said, and this is from Pure Lease, and this is the Daily Lip Nourisher with Mango and Shea Butter. It's a really nice lip balm, it's kind of goopy, it doesn't have petroleum in it, which I hate petroleum. I hate the way petroleum feels, it just sits on top of your lips, and it almost always makes my lips feel drier than before, but this does not have petroleum in it, and it does feel quite nice. My one issue with it is that it doesn't last very long. I feel like I have to reapply it constantly. But, you know, that's okay. It does feel really nice on your lips. And then I got a few extras with points. I got a lot of them this time around. This is a Luxie brush. This is the 522 Tapered Highlighter. I believe that a bunch of you got this in your Ipsy bag a while ago, and I didn't, and I was really sad. So I was super happy to see it in the points section. I did use it today to apply my Jouer highlighter. I love it. This also works well for like 
contouring or powder. It's just soft and fluffy and wonderful. I love it. And then the other two things I got, I got some Social Eyes eyelashes. This is Carissa Pukas's brand. If you don't know who Carissa Pukas is, look her up. I love her channel. And she created her own eyelash line called Social Eyes. And I've been dying to try these and I just haven't yet for some reason. I don't even know why. So today I am wearing the Vixen lashes and I love them. They have a nice clear band. They apply really easily. They look really great. They feel super lightweight on my eyes. Like I could wear these all day and have no issues with them. Plus they're really not that expensive. I will definitely be getting more socialized. And then this little guy is from Be Enigma. I think I've talked about Be Enigma in several videos, including a video completely dedicated to Be Enigma. This is one of those things that I had heard about a million times and I tried it out and I was like, that's eh, not that good. And then about three weeks in, I saw a huge difference in my skin and I was like, what the what? And so I have been using it ever since. I am halfway through my second jar now and I just love it. It feels kind of weird. It's kind of a funky texture. It's very thick and heavy feeling. It almost feels like you're spreading honey on your face almost, except that it is a cream. And it just, I don't know, I've just had really, really good results from it. Somebody from my Snapchat fam, I can't remember who it was, but they told me that this was in the point section for Ipsy and I was like, oh yay, I totally need a little travel size for when I travel because, you know, you don't always want to carry your big glass jar and I'm always afraid it's going to spill or break or something. So this will be really nice to travel with. And B Enigma is expensive. So I am happy to have this. Always check the point section if you are an Ipsy subscriber because they have been having some really good stuff. I'm really loving Ipsy, especially since Birchbox changed their stupid point system. Okay, well that completes my Birchbox versus Ipsy. I loved my Ipsy this month. Birchbox was my Okay. Birchbox has really been struggling lately. I know a lot of people have canceled their Birchbox lately. I'm still holding on to it for now. We'll see though, because right now I'm loving my Ipsy and I will definitely be doing a play by Sephora video. So make sure that you watch out for that. So let me know what you guys got in your boxes and what was your favorite thing and all that stuff. I love hearing from you guys. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.